Bro, you have completely lost the plot, and it's not really that much of a surprise because you have Tucker Carlson as your profile pick, so we know that you're not capable of critical thinking, and you just like to repeat Imperial propaganda. My last video literally took you back to 1823, when it was the U.S. world leader's stated foreign policy that Cuba should be annexed into the U.S. before the Russians. Then I took you to 1934, when America cooed the democratically elected government of Cuba before the Russians. Then we went to 1959, when Dwight D. Eisenhower ordered the U.S. military to start bombing Cuba before the Russians. Then again in the Bay of Pigs invasion in 1961, where we illegally invaded Cuba uh, before the Russians. This is the common liberal perspective. We're going to disregard a mountain of evidence in the historical record which accurately depicts the power dynamic at play between two nations. And we're just going to pick out one thing that serves our convenient interest. Because people are so cucked, they're so tied to America being the good guy. When we bomb people, it's for humanitarian purposes. Also what this person forgets, conveniently, is that the United States placed nuclear weapons in Turkey in 1959, before the Russians. This was a direct provocation, and it was seen as a threat by the Soviet Union. Why is it so incomprehensible for someone to understand that when you have a smaller nation that is literally being bullied and dominated for centuries by an imperial force that is waging economic and physical war against you, that perhaps you might want to turn to other allies that might help you in defending against this enemy. To the liberal, this doesn't matter. All that matters is that America is the good guys, we defend democracy and freedom uh, everywhere, and when we do bad things, it's for good causes. That's all that matters.